Hey there, baseball fans. Ben here. Fancy meeting you guys here. I'm back opening more from this uh, collection that I bought. This is a 35 count, 3500 count box of random baseball cards. And so far it's been kind of back and forth between Junk Wax era and kind of mid 2000s or so, which is out of my um, league of understanding. But looks like we're starting these off with uh, some 1990 Upper Deck Ellis Burks, followed by 89 Upper Deck Ellis Burks. And some more 93 Upper Deck. So we'll see what's in here. I have no idea what to expect. So far I've had really good luck with this box. That's a great shot of Man Man Manuel Lee. Um, I've had good success with this box because I've, I've pulled something from my personal collection in every single one of the stacks I've pulled. So JT Snow. Here's Jack McDowell, top performer, Cy Young Award winner. I don't, want, I, don't, I don't remember seeing this card. It's a pretty good-looking card. I'm just going to set it aside and see what happens with that. Just Cliff Floyd. Curtis Pride. Dave Hollins. Roger McDowell with his little disposable camera, which is hilarious. And he's got water pistols or... Go no, those are like ping-pong ball blasters in his belt there. Uh, rookie class, Gabe White. And Brooks... Kesnick. So there you have it. There's Ron Dowling, da Darling putting his hands up. Jeff Granger, draft pick. Kirby Pocket checklist. Oh, look at that checklist. All right. That's something. I do like it when they um, put the check put checklist with uh, people on it. I think it adds to it. So this is 94 Upper Deck, I think, Collector's Choice. I'm not sure why they have these silver signatures there though so i don't know if that means something or not brett saberhagen ron dalton that's the same picture we just saw hold on hold on hold on let's go back to the videotape where was it lee tom and c blah 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 Mark mcdowell ron darling oh it's, it's the same picture because it's the same card but one of them has the silver signature on it and one doesn't. What does that mean? Do you guys know about these silver signatures? I don't know what that means exactly, but I'm going to put them aside. Probably some kind of parallel or something like that. Oh, look at this Nolan Ryan checklist. Now, I've never been that excited about a checklist before, but I don't have this one in my collection. This 94 Product Collector's Choice. So, it keeps the streak alive. We have another one from my personal collection. And it's one that I've not only do I not have, but I've never even seen before. So super excited about that. I actually don't know much about this collector's choice set. I think it's like Upper Deck started doing this when they wanted to have two sets, one of them being a little cheaper than the other one. The collector's choice I think is a little cheaper back then. You guys correct me if I'm wrong on this. If you guys know anything about it, there's Javi Lopez. But I think that's that was the deal here was uh, just that, that, that it was like the cheaper version. So and they, it appears that there is like a like a silver signature set there. There's Dante Bichette. Wow, <laughs> he looks um, large and unhappy. In that It's like the least flattering picture I can imagine for Dante Bichette. Sorry, Dante. Well, so far, it's been a pretty fun one, pretty uh, fun handful of cards there. Some interesting things, a couple stars, and an Owen Ryan. So, good start to this uh, this handful, or to this session. Is that Dave Justice? Who is that? Yep, Dave Justice. Looks super young there, doesn't he? <laughs> Carlos Baerga. You know, I always pass by Carlos by, by area, and then, um, you know, for some reason, Poly, Polyfax got me thinking about him some more, maybe reconsidering him, and then I looked him up, and after looking up his uh, his lifetime stats, I was like, nope, wasn't missing anything. <laughs> so, Carlos by area, by area goes right back into the pile for me. Ooh, Johnny Damon. It's Johnny Damon rookie card, huh? Look at that, that's fun. Went on to have a very nice, solid career for a number of teams, including those Red Sox that uh, 
that won the World Series, so big part of that team. Paul Wagner. No, Billy Wagner is the one I'm thinking of, not Paul Wagner. There's Roberto Kelly. <laughs> Roberto Kelly. Roberto Almar. I'm not by Rockers tonight. Lenny Dykstra. Yeah. And that's one of those silver signature ones. Just blow that one. Danny Sandoval. John Garner. I don't know any of these guys. Omar Vizcal. See, I think he has a shot at the Hall of Fame still, so that's why I'm putting him aside. This is 2006 Upper Deck, so this is where I get in a little bit of trouble here. Kyle Farnsworth. Joe Blanton. Corey... Sullivan, Rob, uh, Makawiak, Oscar Roberts. Yeah, I don't know anything about those guys. So, just going to put those aside for later, and maybe I'll look them up when I have a chance, so that make sure I'm not missing anything. I do hate these ones that you can't read. Matt Kane, Johnny Perella, Scott Rowland on the Cardinals there. Really a Phillies guy for so many years in the back, especially when I was a Phillies fan. Back when I was going to the games at the at uh, Citizens Bank Park. Jason Worth. Now he's somebody, isn't he? I'm gonna put him aside. He I'm pretty sure he's somebody. Shannon Stewart. Edgar Renteria. Yeah, I think he's somebody too, right? Brian Klesko. He almost was somebody. Started off with the Braves, Matt Stairs, Chad Tracy, Troy Gloss, Tino Martinez. Got a number of years there. Josh Bard, Chin Ming Wang, Jeff Conine. Jeff Conine. He started off great, but then kind of petered off there. You know, it's a pretty solid career. You can't complain too much about these numbers. 288 lifetime, a couple hundred home runs. Near the 2,000 hits. Miguel Bautista. Casey Kochman. Paul Lo Oduka. Matt Caps. Matt Kane. Johnny Peralta. Julio Lugo. Ron Flores. Irwin Santana. Scott, somebody, Juan Encarnacion, he's somebody too, isn't he? Juan Encarnacion, I'll look him up. These are people I feel like I should probably know. I'm kind of embarrassed I don't. Look at this shot of Russell Branion. Look at that face. I don't think he's going to catch it. <laughs> Eric Burns, that's a good shot of Bobby Crosby. Diving for it. Another Renteria. Shannon Stewart again. Jeff Sua. Jose Contreras. Pedro Feliz. Man, I really need to do my homework. If you guys know anything about these players, am I missing something here? Am I putting good players in the bad pile? Let me know. Chris Burke. Uh, Levon Hernandez. Craig Hansen, Ryan Zimmerman, Casey Kochman, David Wright, Toby Hall, Tim Hudson, Jason Giambi, I know him. He was definitely a PED guy, right? Uh, let's see here. Rich Hill, Armando Benitez, Kyle Losey, Alejandro Machado. Tony Womack, it's a cool shot of him. Adam LaRoche, Mark Woodyard, Gary Sheffield, obviously I know him. Solid player, I mean, 449 home runs at this point. 2,300 hits, 297 lifetime average. It's good stuff. Jorge Cantu, uh, there's a Clint Barnes, Jay Payton, Ryan Jorgensen. Ryan Jorgensen, rookie card. I don't feel like I know that name. Tori Hunter. Marlon Bird. 
Freddy Garcia, JD Drew, Matt Caps, and Michael Young. They're not bad looking cards. It's a good design. They're quality feel. They're nice and thick, but I do hate how you can't read the names. Reggie Sanders, David DeJesus, Juan Rivera, Edwin Encarnacion, Jamie Rubella, Derek Lowe. <clears throat> Derek Lowe. Isn't he somebody who's good? I really gotta do my homework on this era. Plus, most of these guys, Mark Mulder, Russ Ortiz, are not. Um, it's not long enough ago that they're in the Hall of Fame. So that's where a lot of where I can catch up on who's good and not. Dan Wheeler, Nick Johnson, Adam Kennedy, Tom Gorzalani, Kevin Millwood, Jacques Jones, Ryan Garko, Vicente Padilla, David Risk, David Bell, Chris Shelton, Gary Matthews, Brian Burlington, Rich Harden, Lou Ford, Christian Guzman, Andy Pettit. Longtime Yankees guy there. 1,500 strikeouts, 172 wins. You know, not bad. Demetri Young. J Roll. Hey, look at that. Jimmy Rollins. There's a Phillies guy I like. I, he was my favorite Phillies player when I was a Phillies fan back in the day. That's a good one. I'm glad to have that one. J Roll. Jimmy Rollins. And our last hand full here. All upper deck team, Barry Zito. Some kind of insert, I guess. Jake Westbrook, Lance Necro, Dustin Hermanson, Claudio Vargas, uh, Hong, Hong Shi Kuo, Josh Rufe, Julio Franco. Look at that. Look how. Man, that dude played forever. Look at that. 21 years in the bigs. 2,500 hits, lifetime 299 hitter. I mean, good for you, Julio Franco. Hats off to you, buddy. David DeLucci, Carlos Guillen, Francisco Cordero, Carlos Pena, Jose Lima. Yep, looks like one great season with 21 wins there. Danny Baez, Aaron Mills, and Miles, uh, Derek Lee, Upper Deck All Team, Orlando Cabrera, Michael Cudier, Tyler Johnson, and David Wright. Again, for this All Upper Deck Team. So, so there you have it. Um, a few people I knew, I love getting that Jay roll and the Scott Rowland and whatnot. Some folks to, that I need to look up. Your guys are going to tell me about some of these guys. Plus, the Nolan Ryan checklist. I've never been more excited about a checklist in my life. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you for, we've got maybe three more videos left in this collection before I get to the end of it. So, stick with me here. I'll see you next time.